Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, sorry uh, I haven't uh, been back for a while. I've been sick, so my voice has been really bad, so I couldn't really do a video. Um, now I'm going to probably have to do this in one take because I can't do retakes. My voice is not going to last that long. Um, but before we go to the video, uh, I wanted to tell you a couple of things. Um, one thing, as you can see, I'm wearing a hat. It's getting very cold down here, here in America during this time. Um, wearing this uh, nice little hat, knit hat uh, from Zeveline Crafts. I'm going to give you a dibbly do in the uh, comments if uh, you're interested in buying one. Um, I just got this today. Love it. Um, don't judge me and don't hate the hater. That's all I got to say. Uh, besides that, uh, for today's uh, topic, um, we're going to be talking about using trackballs for things like video editing and the kind of my reasoning behind it now um, I do like to use certain control hardware control devices to make things a lot faster using different programs uh, of course like uh, Final Cut Pro 10 DaVinci Resolve I also use a Shuttle Pro version 2 which I really like it speeds things up now they have something out there called the Tangent Ripple um, which is in my price range. I believe it's somewhere around $350. Unfortunately, uh, while it is supported in DaVinci Resolve, it is not supported 100% or natively in Final Cut Pro 10. So you actually have to use things like uh, plugins. Uh, for instance, uh, Core Melt Chromatic supports the uh, Tangent Ripple as long as, and as well as. Um, uh, color grading centrals color finale pro add support to the tangent ripple now unfortunately well besides that um, their primary use is to replace missing uh, functionality uh, in Final Cut Pro 10 since it's been uh, rewritten from scratch uh, now ever since the new version of Final Cut Pro 10 version 10.4 they basically put in all the missing features that uh, you know the original Final Cut Pro uh, had in there. Of course, that kind of questions whether uh, they're going to continue support with um, you know Color Finale Pro and uh, Core Melts Chromatic. Are they really going to continue support since they put in all those missing features? Uh, things like color wheels and um, curves. So I thought, well, why don't we use uh, something like a trackball? Uh, I think it's called the, with Kensington Elite, which is, uh, you can see the ball right here, for things like color wheels. And uh, of course, it does come at a much lower price point as well, uh, natively supported. So we're going to take a look at that uh, for various uh, editing apps. Uh, primarily DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut Pro 10.4. We've decided to go with the Kensington Slim Blade Trackball System, uh, which utilizes a removable trackball, uh, which also facilitates for easier cleaning. And then it uh, relies on four built in buttons for the uh, different features that you set up in the software. And it also features a cloth covered cable, which it makes it more durable. Great about using uh, trackballs, it facilitates more precise adjustments in video editing software. Here we are on the uh, Mac desktop, and uh, once you install your Trackball Works software, um, it actually puts it in system preferences, which I actually like much better than, uh, for instance, the uh, Contour Shuttle, it actually puts it here in the menu bar, which I find uh, use up uh, more space and I don't use it all the time. So uh, I actually prefer it in system preferences. So uh, once you open it up, um, one of these four buttons you're gonna sign as click to drag uh, to be able to get it to work in um, all or most of your video editing color wheels, for instance. And then I uh, also find uh, also helpful is when you go to pointer, set your 
uh, pointer speed and or pointer acceler uh, acceleration way down that way it uh, works much slower um, so you're going to get much more precise adjustment when you uh, use these color wheels.